all right? Shalom, shalom. You're the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy a downfall of Babylon the Great. First off, foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. And salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Um, just a quick lesson, you know, just showing the stupidity of some of these, uh, Israelite groups, man. Like this whole, um, this whole Fopi deal about the, uh, the bulletproof vest. You know, they said they about to sell them soon, you know, not to say that it's really bulletproof because, you know, you got a lot of these niggas just that wear those vests just for, I guess it's a new fashion sense or some shit. But nonetheless, it's the appearance, man. All right? You got all this home domestic, domestic terrorist shit going on. You got all these people trying to bad jacket us, bad letter us. All right? Um, of course, they already got us on the list, which, you know, we don't give a fuck. But not, we're, not, we're not about to be out here provoking this damn devil, man. All right, going out preaching the scriptures, doing the work, is enough provoking. All right, well, hey, we already provoked these people with this truth. Obviously, it's working because look at what they're doing. Right, but you got these these assholes that are literally putting fringes. You know, and I'll show the picture. Literally putting fringes on a motherfucker uh, 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 armor. All right. On armor, man. Chest armor. Okay? While you motherfuckers are putting fringes on bulletproof vests, what about the, 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 the one vest or the, uh, the actual armor we actually need? All right? You out here selling fake bulletproof vests. How about you sell the, the true armor you have about Shimon Shah? And I don't mean as in, you know, sell the truth and buy it. Not. I'm talking about actually giving out. The true armor of Yahweh by Shimmy Howard Shot. Yet you niggas are, are are concerned about carnal armor. Then I believe it's ISPUK. I could be mistaken. It's one of these groups, Fopi or ISPUK, you know, that, that goes into the scripture about sell your garments and buy uh, buy two swords. So you know they're posing with all these pictures uh, of their guns and ammo and shit like that. While they all dressed up in their garments and shit, right? That scripture was for a particular time. There's a time for war, there's a time for peace, so on and so on, right? That, that, that scripture was actually for a particular time on what was going, you know, getting ready to happen or what was going on, all right? We all know what the scripture says on this side about being harmless as doves, man. Blessed to see that waiteth on the Lord. Vengeance is the Lord. I don't care how many arms you got. We don't, Those arms ain't about to save us, man. Matter of fact, I believe Psalms 120 says, some trust the horses, some in chariots. But we trust in the name of Yahweh Shemiah Shai. Horses and chariots are a re representation of a, a military power, man. All right? And, and that goes into guns and weaponry and things of that nature. We don't need those damn things, man. All right? We got Yahweh Shemiah Shai. The weapons of our warfare is not carnal. All right? And we for damn sure ain't worried about no goddamn body armor. We got the best armor. All right? I believe it, it, it's written in Ephesians and, um, uh, what was the other one? And maybe Galatians. What thus about the, uh, the helmet of salvation, so on and so forth. I know it's written twice in the scriptures. All right? We, hey, we have the full armor of Yahweh by Shimei Shion. But you know what? On the flip scale, you niggas don't. Especially Fopi, you, you, you guys don't even believe that the natives and the Latinos are Israelites, man. I, at this point, it's 2019, man. You, if you niggas don't know Israel scattered across the whole world, they look all different colors, shapes, sizes. Hey, obviously, your ass is fucking not spiritual, man. All right? Yet, you were going to a goddamn le lesson about Negro uh, natives. Like, nigga, what the fuck is the difference? All right? 
We all different shades of the damn earth, man. But only an Israelite is going to have faith in this doctrine. All right? You, you guys are judging people by their outward appearance. But nonetheless, how about we judge you by your outward appearance? Because if I was Esau and I see you niggas got guns and bulletproof vests and you talking all this shit against me, what the fuck, I'm going to come get you. You giving me all the goddamn reason to come and get you, man. All right? Hey, you, you show me a God, because scripture calls, calls us gods. You show me a God that ever needed a gun. We ain't going to need no guns when we get into our full power, our full glory, man. All right? Well, hey, what does Jeremiah, who's that Jeremiah? No, uh, Isaiah 51 and 20. Thou art my battle axe. Thou art my weapons of war. We are the weapons of war. Not no fucking gun. Not no goddamn bulletproof vest. Not no fucking sword. Nothing carnal, man. All right? The Lord is about to use us to do Ezekiel 25 and 14, man. All right? And you got a lot of you fucking assholes out here tweaking, man. I, I can't believe y'all ever said GMS makes the Israelite groups look bad. Nah. But if we do, you know, we'll take that title because, you know, hey, you know, he that reproof is hated in the gate. But you niggas are fucking sorry, man. Are fucking sorry, man. From FOPI to ISPUK to I ICIU, well, man, all you, you niggas, man. Because your doctrine is off for, first and foremost. Do I believe some of you guys going to wake up out of that shit? I hope so. I hope so. But if you ain't enough the elect, fuck you and stay asleep. You know? Because obviously the vibration you niggas are pushing is completely wrong, man. But like we know, some of you guys are just set up. And then you will bend and twist the scriptures to make it seem or feel like what you're saying is actually correct. See, the Lord saith, the Lord saith, right? Like Ezekiel 13 speaks about, man. The Lord didn't send you niggas, man. All right? The only thing the Lord sent you guys was a strong delusion, man. All right? A strong delusion. Okay? There's no way in fucking hell you guys are just fucking promoting. But what's the point of promoting a bulletproof vest with fringes? Tell me. Besides you trying to make a quick dollar off a dumbass nigga. So you know who you're going to track with that motherfucking M.O.? All right? Niggas that used to gang bang hard as fuck and trying to get on some knowledgeable shit. All right? And they feel like, well, shit, I still can have my vest. I still can have my guns. I, I still could be on this niggard shit. That's the type of shit y'all going to track. But a lot of you guys are simple. You don't consider certain shit. At all, and you know what? A lot of you, a lot of you guys are gullible, man. Just like this ISPU, ISPUK thing about a hey, Passover, all the camps need to come together, sit aside, they different. And listen, man, you know where to meet us. You know the doctrine that we got. We, we ain't about to sit down at no Passover with your ass in going off, man, first and foremost, man, because guess what, one of us is going to be eating the Passover uh, meal unworthily, because we ain't got the same doctrine, but you would think niggas that so-called been in the truth for years, you, you, you would think they'll know that, you know, but this, this is the... This is the shit we gotta deal with, especially in today's time, man. Alright? Like I said, look at all the, the mass shootings, all the racial tension, all that that's going on. And you niggas are just, alright? We ain't gonna pity your trauma, man. And that snake gonna bite your ass. And I'm talking about Esau, man. Esau gonna come and get us regardless, man. But you niggas are just adding gasoline to the fire, man. You can do the same thing as far as preaching and doing what you got to do without posting that shit. Like, a lot of you guys are just social media assholes, man. But you the same niggas that came in the truth just for the camera. So, I expect that from you. All 
right? I expect that from you, man. Because a lot of you niggas are still worldly, man. All right? Posing. Go- hey, all right, dude. That shit blows me because I ain't, I ain't thinking about no goddamn gun. So, like, this is an in transit. You know, I'm just quoting scriptures and just in the spirit, you know? So, bear with me. But nonetheless, I'm not looking to, oh, let me shoot this guy, let me do this. Hey, man, we going to call on the name of how about Shemir Al Shai, man? The spirit of power, you how about Shemir Al Shai, man? All right, we ain't, ain't going to be worried about getting no gun, none of this, none of that. And guess what? Trust and believe. There's brothers with guns, with legal guns, permits, concealed and carry. We still don't bring our shit to the line. We still, hey, it, it just certain shit we don't we don't do because we have the spirit of how about Shimia Shah, man. Okay. <laughs> hey. Uh, like I said, a lot, a lot of these niggas are just a lot of these niggas are just motherfucking pawns, man. And I don't mean pawns in a good way. I mean a lot of you niggas are just fucking stumbling blocks. All right, for our people education. How? When well, you niggas are misleading a lot of uh, Israelites. Matter of fact, you deny a lot of Israelites, man. That's from the northern tribe. And you got a nerve to be fucking trying to sell some damn body armor, yet you ain't got the full armor of the Lord on. Because your doctrine is got fucking chinks in the motherfucking armor. Holes in the armor, man. Hey, with that, hey, I pray this was edifying. All praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kar Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of great millstone. Salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Shalom.